today we are looking at another modern master today's character is guile and where does this guile player come from nowhere else but japan i'm telling you that these modern masters in japan are going to change the meta and when international gameplay comes around again japan's going to smoke us with their one button supers one button anti-airs and we're going to we're going to be in america like no not my street fighter um, but yeah, hopefully if you like this content, make sure to subscribe and comment down below. Leave a like because I will say I'm the pioneer of the Modern Master uh, series. Blow my own horn a little, but let's get into it, right? We got against a Zoner, a Rushdown, and a Shoto. Uh, not really a Shoto Rushdown. You know, she she has a Fireball, which is in the form of a Spray Can. She has set play. She has some set play. That counts. She has a DP. She has a DP. All right, so I don't know how to pronounce this uh, individual's name Let's from Japan. God, my ears itchy, honor, dude. Somebody's sure. talking about me. I'm curious because in the mo- Why would you do that? Because in modern, you still have to charge, right? Am I- Am I not mistaken that you still have to charge? Because everybody's telling me, hey, modern masters, Hondas, Blancas, they still got to charge. But, I mean, I know that there are certain combos with Guile that, you know, you got those auto combos in the super that just do it for you. But he does put himself in the burnout really early. You kind of got to hold this. Good flash kicks. Don't ever jump on a Guile. Oh, my God. The neutral. I did not know this. I did not know this. I did not know this. You can neutral jump JP's level one? And learn well. Dude, it's on. It's all over his his teams right there. Cycle power. There's the there's the, the auto combo. JP caught mashing for some reason. Now of course we're dealing with a twenty nine thousand LP, almost thirty thousand LP JP. So JP knows how to play his character, but I don't think JP knows how to beat a modern master. Good trade overall. Oh, JP got the set play. Misses the grab. Guile is okay. Luckily, he didn't get grabbed because if you get grabbed out of parry, you do lose an entire bar and a half because half for the parry and a bar for the punish counter. Up back. Up back. It's rabbit season. Guile's jumping. Bro, what, dude? You're a, almost a 30,000 LP JP. And the moment you get him in burnout, you're like, I'm going to immediately DI. That's like, that's like gold tactics right there. And then you wake up mashing. So it's actually smart what Guile did there, putting out the, I mean, yeah, I mean, just take the chip. Just take the chip. You're killing. I mean, I don't know why he did that. Wasted the level too. Like, yes, like, he might win this round, but but now you just went to the last round with no bar. You went, you had a substantial health lead, and then you went to the last bar with no bar. Yeah, that's true. The, the, somebody's telling me, like, the good thing about Guile's super is his, uh, you know, Guile just has some interesting super inputs, right? You got to charge, and you like to forward back, whatever the hell it is. But with this guy, I think you just charge it and then press the press the button. You just charge it and then press the press the super button. This this guy player is also not afraid. No flash kick. He's not afraid to put himself. I don't know why he did that. Like level one supers are not projectile invincible. How does the JP drop this game? He must royally drop it, which is you know. A What? The one button super, baby. We were just talking about it. This JP's gonna wake up mashing. Max range flash kick. Not level one projectile. Level ones are projectile invincible. My cat's in front of the desk now. What's going on? I can't see. Get down, Suki. Get down, Mr. President. Oh, my, bro. Why is this JP mashing? Or why is he mashing jump there? This is a 30,000 LP. There's people out there right now who are plat high plat low diamond that understand that you just need a block sometimes this jp player hates to block i don't know what it is i don't know what he thought was going to happen there 
He's like, I'm just gonna mash on jump. Let's get this mission started. And he's in the corner. He's mashing on level one. I'm surprised. He's, I'm surprised he's not doing amnesia on wake up constantly. Okay, what the hell, man? Hit the man just hit the gritty on him. You saw that, dude? Dude, JP's hitting the gritty on Guile. Yeah, this JP is at the advantage most of these rounds. Right now, he has him full screen. He can't really do much. He's winning the gauge battle solely just off of damage of uh off a of block, which is crazy that this is designed in the game for this for a character to do this to your gauge. Uh, but where does this guile? Okay, that's the world's slowest reactions. I'm not gonna lie. That was the slowest reactions. The flash kick. This JP doesn't block. I don't know why this guile player thought he could do a meaty. Level one again to catch the. To catch the command grab. Instead of jumping, he does level one, which is interesting. I don't think that was a teabag. I was looking. I was. I counted the frames. That wasn't a teabag. How does a JP lose? I'm not like dissing this modern master, right? But, like, this could just be a tough matchup for Guile in general. Or well, the JP just knows the modern. Or not the modern. Just knows the Guile matchup a little bit better. But, and this Guile might not know the JP matchup. Like, it's not really coming down to matchup, though. Like, I don't know why this Guile... He should just be rushing down his JP LOC, I feel like. Throw out those EX booms more. Right? Now, you start zoning. You can't really do much if you start the zoning war. But the JP might just, like, never make this JP a public speaker. Because when it comes to pressure, he will lose. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If the JP doesn't do the... Oh! Good bait. If a if a JP player doesn't do their down-down motion correctly, like, quick enough, it definitely looks like they're teabagging. Definitely looks like they're teabagging. I've yet to see this Modern Master use level 2 or level 3. He's a level 1 man. You know, he loves guys level 1. Good. Closing the gap. Closing the gap. He actually didn't need to do that one. He doesn't react to command grab with jump. He reacts to command grab with everything but jump. Which is interesting. Or maybe he's just trying to react to the animation and just happens to be command grab. You know, like that could be it. Nice. Press your advantage. Press your advantage. You're in burnout. You're in burnout. You got you gotta press. Nice. Good boom. Dude, this JP player. Oh, damn it. Okay, so he's got level three, right? No level. Bro, why wouldn't you level three? Okay, this is okay. This is what pissed me off. Okay, so right here, what the JP player should have is level three. Because when you level three, their gauge doesn't fill up anymore, right? Their, their drive gauge doesn't fill up. You then get more gauge. He's still going to be in burnout for a little bit. So you cash out on the level three and then you can do a little bit more chip damage to where like one button will kill. Instead, he doesn't do that. He does a late level three and loses the game. I don't, I don't get it. This JP, do not make this JP player. A public speaker. They will fold under pressure from the entire crowd. Shout out to the Modern Master, though, for holding his ground. Slowly working his way in. But now let's see what happens when your opponent comes to you and doesn't say full screen. That's right. He's fighting a Blanca. Is this Blanca be using Blanca Chan? Is this guy going to be doing... I expect to see every Blanca ball get flash kicked. That's what I'm saying. I'm calling it. Every Blanca should be getting flash kicked. Every Blanca ball should be getting flash kicked. Raw DI. A level 31, 31,000 LP. Run forward DI. For the first time ever, Guile is applying pressure. Definitely could have grabbed him there, but press the button instead. Good pokes. Holding that charge right. Good job. Bro, why is he so offensive against this Blanca player? 
But against the JP player, he was so content with staying long range. He's probably looking for the slide. Blanca did EX. This is 31,000, by the way. This is 31,000. This man has been playing Blanca so much. Walked into a boom. Not checking any of the drive rushes. Bad flash kick coming out of our modern master here, unfortunately. Good combo out of Blanca. EX. Okay, EX ball. Nice. Bro, why would the... Why would you back throw there? Why would you back throw there? I don't think... Dude, this is like this Blanca's younger brother or something playing. He like hopped on the stick. The Blanca's at work right now. He told his little brother like, Hey, don't play rank when you're going to play Street Fighter. Go to the battle hub. But I was like, what? I'm good enough for rank. What the... What the fuck? What the f what the f what is happening? What is this? What is this thing? What, I mean, shout out the modern master. Once again, this isn't me like talking bad about the guy that I'm watching. This guy player. I mean, the fact that he's winning, good job on him. But sometimes these wins are, you know, you can question the win. You can, you can question it. You can be like, wait a second. This Blanca doesn't know how to punish Guile's level one <laughs> at all. Nothing. Man needs to hit the lab. Raw slide. Fortunately, Gal didn't uh, punish properly. Dude, I don't know how people walk back on throws. I feel like every time I try to walk back, their arm, everybody character has dulcimer arms and just grabs the hell out of me. Good DI out of the Blanca. Good combo, corner pressure. Gets the meaty grab. Gal's waking up buttons, waking up DP. What was this? What do you think he was going for here? What do you think he was going for here? Okay, he wanted he wanted boom and the game registered it as sweep, unfortunately for him. Okay. This is blocking. This is blocking. Right here, blocking. We're really out here blocking. Hey, somebody said, hold my... Don't put yourself in a burnout against Blanco when you're at this low HP. Please, for the love of everything that's holy. All right, well, GG. Yeah, that, that combo took way too long. He should have just did the electricity or a Blanca ball. Or, you know, we should have threw out a Blanca Chan. Does Blanca Chan do chip damage? Now, Blanca should just throw out a Blanca chain, EX electricity, and it just won the game. Bad slide. Good. Finally, conversion off of the Guile player. I don't feel like enough Blancas do that. Am I? Am, is that new tech? If you play Blanca out there, and they're on low HP, you should be throwing out Blanca chain and getting that free chip damage and then if they're in burnout. Or it sets you up for, like, you know, the anti-air level if they jump over Blanca chain. Is he got level three? Level one. I told you this man doesn't level three. Puts himself in a burnout, but he does have a huge life lead. He does have a huge life lead. Blanca put himself in a burnout. I guess he was risking it. Maybe trying to land, go for a CA, but even then it's checkmate at that at that health range. Unless you get a really good slide. But even if they wake up and do anything, I think you're dead. Especially with Guile's level 1 chip. Why don't be in burnout again? This Guile player, I feel like he's in burnout every round. Like, like there's been rounds. Also, no DP coming out of Blanca. Uh, level 1? Don't do that. Modern Master. Um, I feel like there's been rounds where I'm not even close to being in burnout. Or I go and burn out to secure the win with like a game-winning combo. 
But this guy just goes into burnout constantly. No anti air uh, Blanca. Nice. Doesn't block the slide there, unfortunately, but gets the one. You know, I feel like, I feel like this guy... Because people will say, like, Guile in Burnout doesn't really matter. Because he plays the same. But even then, you should not be putting yourself in a Burnout that easily. You should not be putting yourself in a Burnout that easily. Yeah. Um... I mean, it's just poor meter management. I mean, I think he would play a lot better if he managed his meter. And also went for combos. Have we seen this guy do a driver's combo yet? Have we seen him do a driver's combo at all? I know modern players have driver's combos. We see him drive rush in, well, and then he does the auto combo. But I don't think we ever seen like a drive rush combo where he does button, drive rush, button, drive rush, level three. Also, we have never seen a level three. That's going to be the name of this title. Modern Master Guile only does level one. Loves burnout and level one. <laughs> Level one again. It's the kill. Yeah, I mean, Guile has like one of those. Well, maybe it's only on classic he has those combos. Maybe on modern he doesn't have the tools. I think he needs like the boot, like the big, like forward boot. Mmm, that is true. The man does have a level 13 super. Bro, imagine if supers scaled per bar. Right, and the max bars were like 15. And it took three rounds to build 15 bars, and then your super just does like an insta kill. Like like guilty gear. Level one again. There's that combo. Whoop. 48,000 LP. Bro, I feel like I'm watching this modern master fight diamond level players but they're high mass like they're decently high masters 48,000 there's like a certain point right where you beat people higher rank than you you'll get like 100 to 200 Let's get this mission started. but then there's a point where like you tip into where you're the higher guy and then when you win you only get 50 points yeah, it's like, where are these guys when I'm trying to, when I'm trying to record a YouTube video, man? I keep getting all the sweats. Nice, good DP. Is that tech? Are you supposed to EXDP right there? Nice. Now I know. I kind of messed that up. I EXDP right away, and then I still get hit by the bomb with Luke EXDP. Maybe the tech is to take two buttons and then EXDP like the mix or the grab. I mean, like, the night and day of Modern Masters is also very interesting. Because, like, the Manon, the Kimberly, the Ryu, right? They all look like good players, like great players. And every other Modern Master just looks like a good player that just plays the game a lot. Like this man's, this man's elbow dropping into the boom. He's actively elbow dropping into the boom. Level three? No, level three. No level, dude. Can this guy on level three once? Like, just level three once. Level three right now. Level three right now. Just do one level three, please. I uh, Kimberly beat you to it. Uh, statistic wise, this Kimberly has level three more this game than the Guile has in six. He got level three there and won the game. Why is? Bro, well, he's allergic to level three. Okay, how's he how's he win this? Sorry, 
just taking all that chip damage. Look at his, look at his drive gauge is deplete. Level three at any moment. I believe in you. Please. Good flash kicks, right? That's what you like to see. At least his flash kicks are on point. At least his flash kicks are on point. He's got a level one with DI. Nope, he's not. Well, that's Minor Master for Guile, at least. I don't... I play Classic Guile, it seems. It seems you should, you should just play Classic Guile. Like, a Classic Guile player definitely just looks better, has better tools. This... Like, I just don't know why he never level three. I don't know why he never level three. But that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe button, comment down below, leave a like. We'll close to 500 subscribers. And I'll see you all again in the next Modern Master. Peace.